Good morning, it's 8 a.m. here. I've come down to the house to let the scaffolders in in order to put up the scaffolding on the front and the side of the house. They've already done the back. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Um, but a lot has happened, uh, a lot has happened. Um, as I mentioned in the last update, the professionals are starting now, so lots of big things are happening. Let's take a look. So, where's my bloody walls gone? <laughs> Where did I leave them? Oh, they're here. Um, yeah, so basically, uh, this is called tongue and groove, um, and it's because there's a, a little tongue, and then on the other end, there's a groove, and the boards slot in to one another like this, but they're actually individual boards. So the carpenter has taken all of those down. He's not taking down this one yet because he's going to put up the new stud wall first um, because it's kind of load-bearing. Um, but look at this. You can see straight into the bathroom from the back of the bedroom. So that where that white paint is, that's pretty much where the new bathroom's gonna be. And this bedroom, if I flip to this camera, is gonna be pretty goddamn big. If you look at that, that's fantastic. Um, new plan, we're gonna actually keep this granite wall exposed. I'm gonna get this taken off. It's just a bit of plaster just chipped off. And then I'm gonna point all of the granite um, and I'll show you what I've already started downstairs. So you come out of here, uh, the door layout's going to be fairly similar. Door here into the bedroom. Um, obviously, there'll be a wall here. And then door here. Uh, this is going to be coming out, and the door frame will go right up to this banister here. If I duck underneath the, uh, the loft ladder, which is being completely replaced, I've got a brand new one. This is the studio. And as you can see, the wall is also gone. So that looks pretty crazy. Um, I'm not going to be exposing the granite back there because... When I do my videos, um, I want to have a shelf there and it would just be really distracting having lots of different stuff going on. So that will get covered up, but it could always be uncovered at a later stage. I am going to be trying to keep this brick wall though uh, and put the little fireplace back in because I think a really nice neon sign on there with clean brick could look stunning. So that is that. Uh, the scaffolding is up, so that's pretty damn cool. Um, the plan of action is basically to chip off all of the render on the back of the house. You can see where these cracks are um, and they're going to basically uh, fix the cracks. They're just going to sort of chip it all off completely back to the brick and then uh, redo it. So that's going to be fun. Right. Carpenter has started some stuff. You can see there's a board here. Let me show you why. It's very loud. Excuse the door being open again. Okay. This wall has also now gone. New stud wall is going to be built here. The plan is to kind of keep a little box built out to here so that we can hide um, the pipes for the, for the toilet and whatnot and the, uh, the, the bathroom upstairs. Um, but if we come into here, look at this. Okay, let's just address a few things. So first thing, why is that being cemented over? Well, it's an, it's an interior build, so it doesn't need to breathe as much, basically, because this is solid uh, brick here. So the idea is we were just going to secure it all up, because I don't know if you remember, there was lots of different cracks in it, um, and they're going to take out the old destroyed Arga that is absolutely not salvageable. I know a lot of people are saying you should keep it, you should keep it, you should keep it, but um, it's absolutely destroyed. There's cracks all over it, massive cracks. So uh, the second this thing gets pulled out, it's gonna come out in three pieces. Um, but yeah, this wall has all been chipped off, all of the, uh, the sort of the plastering. You can see what it did look like there. They've taken it all back. It's all in these bags. And uh, this is now exposed, the granite. So. I decided I'm going to keep this wall and that wall because we're not going to have much of a feature of the fireplace. So let's make our features either side. So I've learned how to point a wall. <laughs> um, it takes a very long time and I'm not finished. I've got a lot of cleaning up and bits and bobs to do, but it looks pretty okay. I'm not, I'm not unhappy with it. It's, it's not the easiest thing in the world. I don't know if you can see some of that there. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty pleased with it. I think it makes a really nice feature. Let me know what you uh, what you all think. Um, but yeah, oh, it's a little bit dirty there. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's. I'm pretty happy with it. it. It's definitely not perfect, but I think it makes it makes a big difference. It's also very expensive to get someone to do it professionally. So if I do it myself, um, it will save quite a lot of money. But anyway, that is pretty much that so the idea is this is going to get um repointed as well but it's just going to be sort of 
gunned in like with a little injection thing so that it's just nice and uh, safe but it's not going to be a pretty job because we're going to be putting a, a stud wall up against that anyway so the other thing they've done carpenter has replaced the rotten joist so you can see he's put in a new sort of horizontal piece and some hangers the joists are sat down there uh, he's also strapped a, uh, a joist onto the end of this one so that is all now nice and secure um, he's also done down here as well not sure if you remember but the uh, the floor joist was completely rotten so he's cut that out um, and put a brand new one in down there so that is now nice and solid so when he builds his stud frame here it's got something really nice and solid to go into and then the final thing that they have done because it was completely blocked before is they have cleared these subfloor vents so much so that you can now actually see the outside world which is really good because that now means that the uh, the subfloor can get some ventilation which allows uh, well prevents rot and woodworm and all that kind of stuff and then the final thing that they're actually doing with that if i take you outside is they're actually raising the air brick because this pavement and road has risen uh, since this house was built uh, they're now right like raising it to stop any sort of water getting in if it rains heavy or the road floods or whatever so that is going to be blocked up and the air brick will be there so that is it then really for the update um what else is happening well scaffolding goes up as i said um the builders still need to come back in and do a few more bits uh carpenter is starting all of his stud work all of the stuff for his stud work arrives today uh, and then he's working after he finishes his jobs t uh, this week um around about five o'clock onwards he's a legend uh, and then next week, working full time. So he reckons by the end of the week, the whole house will be studded. There we go. That is it. Um, as for filming people doing stuff, it feels a little bit rude to expect them to, to be happy with me doing that. Uh, so I'm not going to be able to film all of it. I am going to ask Darren if I can film little bits of it. Um, but yeah, there we go. That's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Darren's the carpenter, by the way. Um, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye.